What's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you how to splice in Audacity. So let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and splice in Audacity. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take two different tracks, two different songs, and edit them and make them flow from one into another. And we're going to use the splice technique to achieve that. So let's go ahead and do the first thing, which is, well, if you haven't if you haven't already opened Audacity, of course, open that up. But once you have your empty Audacity, go ahead and import a song. Let's just start with uh, importing one song first. And um, I'm going to do that the easiest way, which is um, let me go to my finder. And I'm just going to simply find the track, which is this one right here. I fell in love with a liar. It's one of my own tracks. And I'm going to click and drag the song into Audacity and should automatically come up. There we go. Should give one second. Boom, perfect. And first what we're gonna do is find the point where you want it to start mixing in with the other track, okay? So with this song, I'm gonna search for the, the chorus uh, a little bit after the chorus starts. So um, let's choose the second chorus. And I think from looking at the waveform, it's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's take a listen. Okay, so I want it to start fading in to the other song somewhere around here after the chorus has um, come into play for a little bit. So what we're going to do is simply just select wherever you want it to start fading out or at the point of where it's faded out completely and the other song has come in. And you'll see what I mean a little bit later on. Uh, just select that point, click and drag the rest of the song that you really don't need, which is the rest of this portion here. So make sure all that's highlighted and then just simply hit delete. Perfect, okay? So now that's gone, it's out of our way. And uh, let's go ahead and open up or import the other track. Okay, so go back to my finder. I'm gonna blend in one of my other songs, which is called Where We Go, featuring a lovely lady, Claudia. But all right, so click and drag, and let that load for a second. Boom, perfect, okay. So once again, find the area that you want it to start fading in, and uh, I guess mainly kind of focus on where you want it to eventually take over the track. Um, so to do that, let's go ahead and mute the first track first. Mute right here. Okay, so we don't hear it and it doesn't get all, uh, in the way of, our, of us listening. So let's go ahead and find the chorus to this song because this one has a pretty good chorus too. It's got to be somewhere right here. All right, let's take a listen. Okay, that's enough. So somewhere right here, I want it to start fading in. And then, um, and then once the chorus actually hits, it should take over completely somewhere around right here. But let's go ahead and get rid of uh, this axis fat, if you will, of the beginning portion of the song. So again, simply just click and drag. And I'm dragging to the left because this is the beginning portion of the song. And once again, once it's highlighted, just hit delete on your keyboard and it's gonna get rid of it. Now here's the problem is it, in Audacity, it automatically shifts the entire song all the way to the left, but we can move this and slide it over to uh, this portion over here where the, the other song is. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that by using one of the tools. We're gonna have to switch off of the selection tool and we're gonna cruise over to this uh, time shift tool, okay? And that's the one with these two different arrows um, signifying that we can move left or right, all right? So once we have that, we can easily just click and drag. Pretty, pretty easy, right? Okay, so now from here, you wanna just focus on a little bit of overlap, okay? And it's really up to you to decide how much you wanna overlap, how little or less, but you do have to take in consideration of how much, um, I guess, uh, access fat that you've given yourself to fade in and fade out. Because basically what a splice is, is, is fading in and fading out from one song to the next. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm going to be 
fading out from this song while I'm fading into this song so it, it, it blends together. Okay? Now, so I'm going to, I think somewhere right there should be fine. Okay. Now from here, we're going to select or go back to the selection tool, which is this little eye icon right here. Select that. And then we're going to select the area, which is you just want to hover over the end of this clip and the, and then just click. And Audacity wouldn't recognize, oh, you, you want it to be right on the end of this clip. So that's kind of neat. And then click and drag till you drag all the way till Audacity finds the other end of the beginning of the second song. See? So Audacity kind of figures out, oh, that's what you want to do. You want to make it perfect and line it up. So that's pretty neat. And then we can just let go. Okay, now it's really highlighted here. Let's go ahead and zoom in just so you can kind of see a little bit better what we're doing. A uh, lot better, a lot better. Okay, so this is how much of the song that we're gonna fade in and fade out. Now don't click off of this because then you're gonna lose your um, your highlighted section. We wanna keep that. So since um, we have this song selected, we're going to fade out of this song. So to create that, we're gonna create an effect. So we have to cruise up to the top. Hit effect and go down to fade out. Okay. Now you can see how that diminished the, the actual waveform, signifying that it is fading out. Okay, so and just a little note, if you don't know, if you don't realize which track you're on, it is the yellow ring or the yellow highlighted one. Alright. So now let's cruise over to this one. I guess we can just click on this. And I guess we can just simply click and drag and did the same, do the same thing what we did before, which is hover over the end of the clip, click, drag to the end of the next clip, boom, perfect. Wait for it to highlight yellow like that, and then let go. Perfect. Now we go up to effect again, but this time we're fading in, so we select fade in. Boom. Now Audacity has created uh, the waveform to slowly fade in nicely for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and back up out of this. Let's zoom out. And then rewind this a little bit and listen to what we have. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have to unmute this. So let's go ahead and unmute by hitting mute. Boom. So make sure make sure your tracks, none of your tracks are uh, in a grayed out fashion. You definitely want it to have this uh, blue fashion, okay? All right, let's take a listen. It's over. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. So this is a perfect and easy way to create kind of like maybe a sampler. Maybe you've just created a new album, a new EP or something, and you want to, you know, give 10 second clips of each song so you can fade in, fade out and splice those guys up and then just easily export from Audacity your finished product. Of course, you just simply go to file and export. Simple as that. All right, guys. So that's how you splice in Audacity. If you do have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching.